Hi guys, this is Vincent from Monsteraso. Um, today I'll be sharing the Aeroid mix that I'm using for all my philodendrons and anthuriums. I'm gonna use this Apropinium pinatum cutting that I propagated a few weeks, uh, sorry, a week ago in water. And as you can see, when you see the roots coming out, it has this fine, uh, tiny roots. It means that it's good to go already because this, this are actually called feeder roots. So this cutting is good to go in a pot. And okay, so the mix I'm using is a cocoa peat based mix. It's um, I usually do 10-20% cocoa peat. Uh, as you can see in this storage box here that I've prepared up. Uh, this is around. The percentage of cocoa peat that I'm using and the rest will be just filled with um, chunky chunky stuffs like um, orchid bark, pumice uh, and perlite and sometimes cocoa chunk. So I'm gonna show you how I mix it up uh, real quick. So let's start uh, with orchid bark. So guys this is orchid bark. Um, it's great stuff. Use it for all your aeroids. It's chunky and huge, so just pour it in your mix and it's gonna give room for the roots to breathe. Yeah. So just pour some in. That's pocket bark. Um, next I'll be pouring in some humis. Which I've just bought from Valgo. I'm gonna open up a bit. So humis is just basically this grey stone. I like to use the chunky ones because it's chunky. So just pour it in. So we've got pumice. Um, so that's the large pumice. Uh, I like to add a bit of tinier and finer pumice. This one's a, this one is pumice also. It's just a tinier variety. So just pour it in. Um, then I like to do a bit of perlite as well. So here's perlite, which I've just newly purchased from Shopee as well. Yep, so just pour in your perlite. So this is what the mix looks like. It's a lot of this chunky stuff. And just a little bit of the cocoa peat because um, Oh, also guys, if you are, the, the mix that you use, uh, it's highly dependent on the watering frequency and the location where you put your plants. I put my plants on my balcony, which, which, is, a, which is a semi-open space uh, that is exposed to rain and a little bit of sun. So this is my, the mix that I use. Uh, as you can see here, I use very minimal cocoa peat because it rains a lot here in Malaysia and when it rains, the aeroid, uh, the mix will get very wet. So I like to use a extremely chunky mix for my philodendrons and anthuriums. So yes, this is the ratio. Uh, I'm gonna mix it up real quick. That's done. Um, once you mix it up, it looks something like this. Yeah, chunky and good to go. Next, uh, okay, before I pot up my cutting, one thing I like to do is to layer a bit of cocoa chunk on the base. So the cocoa chunk, it's a very water absorbent material, almost like a sponge. And I like to use the chunky type, the very fat and chunky type, which is quite hard to find out this. So I'll just layer some cocoa chunks at the base, which acts as a almost like a water reservoir. And then this is what it looks like at the bottom. And then one thing that it's very important is to give food to your plant and the food that I'm using is 
Osmo Coat. It's a slow release fertilizer. And I like to add a fair bit amount at the bottom. Before I start potting up my cutting. So this is what uh, Osmo Coat looks like. And just pour it, pour a bit at the, where the Coco Chang is. Okay. Then I'll just grab some of my Aerot mix and just pour some in first. Then uh, I'll grab my cutting, chuck it in, and just top it up. Wait, no. Uh, I need to add a bit more food first so that this thing will grow up um, fast and nice. So, more smoke road. So then you put in your cutting and just top it up with the mix that we mix together. See so guys, the mix that I'm using is very chunky. It's almost impossible to get root rot in for this for the mix that I have prepared because it's so chunky the the only part where it gets wet is at the bottom. So the top dries up very fast and this means that it's very 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 difficult to get root rot especially for young plants or cuttings which are very susceptible to root rot Yeah, um, you can also add, top it off with a bit more smoke coat if you like Then another thing that I would do sometimes is to layer a thin layer of sphagnum moss at the top as dressing just um, to prevent the media from drying up too quick but just a thin layer will do not too much and yeah that's it um, that's how you can start mixing your aerites and thank you for listening and watching see you next time bye bye Guys, one more thing. Vitamin B1, great stuff. Uh, so for every new report, just pour a bit of this stuff in to your to your water and water around the newly planted plant, and you should have a almost ninety percent success rate for each and every plant that you you have just reported. Uh, so good stuff. Look it up on Shopee.